All right, so today we're gonna to be doing part two of the SAM 7 r AK-47. There you have it. Remember I told you we were gonna do a penetration test between the 762 by 39 versus a 5.56. It's a part two, but honestly, it's a little bit of a AR versus an AK. I know that that conversation has gone on forever and there's so much information about AR versus AK, which one is better, which one isn't. So what I did was, I already have ARs, so what I did was purchase an AK-47 for myself. And so with time, I can decide which platform is better. Maybe maybe there's no clear winner, and it's just how you're feeling that day, which, which gun you pick up for the occasion. But that's why I bought an AK-47. That way I can compare it for myself. So part two is going to be the results for the penetration test. Give you a little spoiler alert, I'm probably going to have to redo it. Well, not probably. I'm going to have to redo it because I want there to be a clear winner. So on this one, there was not a clear winner. I'll show you here in a bit. So I don't have a chronograph. So this is a penetration test, not a velocity or a energy foot pounds. Generally speaking, I think we all know um, 5.56 five, has a higher velocity and 7.62 has a higher uh foot pounds of energy so just generally speaking in case people didn't know 556 five, higher velocity 762 by 39 which is AK AR AK has a higher foot pounds of energy AR has higher velocity and so that being said with higher velocity it's a smaller bullet you see that right there and with the 762 it's a little bit bigger projectile these both are 30 round magazines. You see it's a smaller package for the AR, a little bit bigger package for the AK. So let's see the results. So for the first one, AR versus AK, we used um, 55 grain for the, for the AR. On this one, M8193, see that right there? And then for the AK, we used 123 grain, see that right there? Um, I like to write them down because if not, I won't remember what exactly what round I put through and what book and all that. So let me just show you the results. All four exit wounds. See that right there? And that is a total of about four inches. All right, so for the second one, it is, this time I shot the AK up top. 122 grain for the AK and for the AR I did the green tips the 62 grain M855 let's see the results let's see the back and we got four exit wounds so for this one it was about four and a half inches if I measure it over here it's closer to five but yeah just so you see these are a little bit thicker than the first stack of books so yeah, I am gonna redo that test. Um, I'm probably just gonna tape those two stacks of books. I'm just gonna tape them and reshoot the targets. I just wanna put a stop to the round and see which, whether it's 556 for the AR or the 762 for the AK, see which one makes it through the furthest. I just wanna put a stop to those rounds and I'm gonna have to redo the test, all right? So for this one, there's not a clear winner. Both the AK and the AR penetrated the targets all right all right so so far what am i thinking of this ak i should say the platform because um this isn't this is an arsenal but i'm new to ak's like i'm used to ars but i'm new to ak's so i can't just i can't just be like oh well this is what i like about arsenal and all that because I, I don't have any other ak's but so far i've heard arsenals are really good so far i have nothing to complain other than that all I can say is the platform is a little bit different than the AR. Obviously, we, we know that. They're two different guns. Things that I need to get used to is the sight, the rear sight. I personally prefer the, AR, the AR's rear sight. See that right there? That, to me, is not as easy for me to pick it up as the AR, just seeing through the, through the rear sight and then just looking for that front sight post. Um, I'm going to have to get used to that. Second thing I'm gonna have to get used to is the charging handle being on this side. So 
you know, used to the AR where you just pull it back from over here. I'm gonna have to get used to the charging handle being on this side for the AK. And third thing that I need to get used to is a safety. I personally like how the AR, you're just able to put the safety on or off with your thumb and having the safety on this side and having to reach over. In my opinion, those aren't negative things. I'm not saying that AR is better for that. Only time will tell how I feel about this. Um, but for now, that is, those are the few things that I'm about to get used to. All right, so, so the fourth thing that I need to get used to for the AK is the magazine release and the having to rock the the magazine into the AK. I'm used to the AR where you just insert it and it's much easier. So, and like I said, that's not that's not a negative thing. That's just having to get used to this new platform. So yeah, this one, I haven't put much ammo through it. Um, this is the second arsenal that I purchased. The first one, I got rid of it, I sold it. So I bought it, I had to buy another one. So the first one I put, through the first one, I put a few hundred rounds through that one and I didn't have any problems with it. Um, so with this one, same, every time I go to the range and I'm gonna be shooting long guns, I'm gonna try to take this with me so I, so I get more rounds through it. All right, so for now, um, part three is gonna be a continuation of the pen, penetration test. Um, just because there was no clear winner, I want there to be a clear winner. And for now, it's just gonna be a pen, penetration test. Maybe down the road, if I ever get a chronograph or something, we can do a velocity and a energy foot pounds, but for now, it's just a penetration test. Stay tuned for part three, it's gonna be a continuation of the penetration test. Thanks for watching.